Okay, so my story might not be that amazing, but I had to get you a little excited. I grew up in a family as the oldest of four kids. From a young age, I had to be very mature so that I could set the example for them. I didn't want them to look up to someone that didn't care about school or do anything good with his life, so I focused on school and tried to always do the right thing. While I was trying to be a role model for my siblings, I had to have my own role model, and that was always my dad. From a young age, he taught me the basics of right and wrong. Things like always treat others how you want to be treated, keep a clean house, or don't pull that kid's hair, you know, the basics. But whenever I have a problem I can't solve on my own, I go to my dad and I know he'll have the answer. I can sit down with him and talk to him about something and then a few hours will just fly by. From a young age, my dad took an abnormal approach to raising me. He was never very strict. I had a lot of freedom with what I did and who I would hang out with. His idea was that I should be allowed to make mistakes and learn from them, and he trusted me enough to let me do that. Now, while he was lenient, he wasn't absent. He disciplined me when it was necessary, but it was valuable for him to take a step back enough to let me experience life. Along with his approach to parenting, he also taught me a lot of useful skills over the years. My dad was always a handyman. He worked in construction for over 30 years, so he picked up some knowledge along the way. My dad wasn't the only source of influence for me, though. One of the biggest parts of my life since I was 10 was Boy Scouts. This was yet another thing that my dad encouraged me to do so I could surround myself with good people and good morals. Over the years, scouting has taught me countless skills to be used for the rest of my life. I have earned almost 30 merit badges, each teaching me something new. I have held several positions in the troop, teaching me responsibility as well as how to be a leader. Even more important than what I learned in scouting is the people I met. I met my best friends in scouting. For seven years, I got to know some of the best people I've met. They have been there whenever I have needed it, and I have my dad to thank for guiding me into a place where I can meet them. Friends have always been a huge part of my life. That's where yet another lesson from my father comes in. Surround yourself with good people. I've always understood that those that you keep close can determine who you are. Bad people can influence you to do bad things. My friends and family have always been huge motivators for me. Whenever I have problems, there is someone to support me. I've needed that a lot in my high school years. When Randy talked about his brick wall, it made me think all about mine. But what's more important than our brick walls is how we break them down. My most significant brick wall is probably obvious, but it's been a big one. Almost three years ago, I was told I would never walk without assistance again. It was more than two months in the hospital before I was functioning again, but it still took four people to get me out of my wheelchair. I was in a very dark situation, but two things got me through it. The people I had supporting me and a positive attitude. Over my recovery, I've realized that our attitude can hold us back so much from our potential. Down my long road, I've had to keep my head up and keep trying no matter how hard it got or how grim the future looked. My countless supporters would have helped me do that. From my friends that have helped me however I needed it, my family that encouraged me along the way, or anyone else in my life rooting for me on my journey. That was when I was thankful of my father, because when I needed people to support me the most, I didn't have to look far. Now going through all this has prepared me for whatever comes in my life. I've had to learn perseverance, positivity, and who I surround myself with. My hope is that I will keep heading in the right direction once I graduate and use these lessons to make it far in life.